Next problem is working with money, and it is an interest problem, continuously compounded. And they give us the formula here, the formula A equals P E to the RT, and that describes the accumulated value of A of a sum of money, which is the principal P, after T years, at an annual percentage rate R, and they're telling us that it's compounded continuously. You don't need to know this because that's already the formula. The formula is compounded continuously. Complete the table for a savings account subject to continuous compounding. All right, so the amount invested is 5,000. Right, now that is our principal. That's the amount we're investing. So this is P. P is 5,000. The interest rate is 10%. And remember when we use a percentage, we're going to use the decimal form. 0 0.10 and the accumulated amount is double the amount invested so it's whatever the P is and it's two times the P right which is also going to be two times 5,000 which is 10,000 all right and say in how many how much time in years this is what we want to know is the T the T is our unknown so let's go ahead and let's write down the formula. A equals P E to the R T. Now our A is two times P, P E to the R T. And then we're just gonna go and plug in. All right, P is 5,000. And we already did this two times 5,000. P is 5,000 e to the power of r, which is 0 0.10, times t, which is our unknown. So the accumulated value, 2 times the principal, is 10,000 equals 5,000 e to the 0 0.10 t. And now we need to solve for t. t is up here, stuck up in our exponent. We want to bring it down to earth. That means we're going to take the log, or in this case, the natural log of both sides. Before we do that, we're going to divide out this 5,000. If I divide the right side by 5,000, I'm going to divide the left side by 5,000. 10,000 divided by 5,000 is just 2. 2 equals e to the power of 0 0.10t. Now let's go ahead and take the natural log of both sides okay, and make a little space here. If I take the natural log of the right side, my exponent's going to come down back down to earth. All right, ran out of space. Let me let me bring this up here. And let me go a little higher. I'll bring it up here. See if I can copy it just this part let's see copy and paste nice all right so the left hand side we have the natural log of 2 which equals the right hand side the natural log of e to the power of anything is just that anything so it equals 0 0.10 t okay we're using this uh, property right here Natural log of e to the x is just x. And now I see my t, my grumpy old t. I want to get them all by himself. The only way to get the t by itself is to get rid of the 0 0.10, which is multiplied. And to get rid of multiplication, I'm going to divide. Divide by 0 0.10. Divide by 0 0.10. These reduce down to 1. So I have 1t all over there by himself and he equals the natural log of 2 over 0 0.10. Now, we go back to the problem and see what it's asking. It's saying, here's what it's asking you to fill in. T is approximately blank years. All right, so they don't want natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.10 years. Let's pick up our calculator. Natural log of 2, close parentheses, divided by 0 
it's going to give me 6.93147180. Do not round until the final answer. Then round to one decimal place as needed. So what I get is 6.93147180. And on and on and on. Round this to one decimal place. Here's one decimal place right here. I look to the right, it's not big enough to make it move. So my answer is going to be 6.9 years.